and welcome back to Hey Eugenia. Today it is time for an updated lipstick collection. This I did probably a year, a year and a half ago already. I'll link the old video in my description box if you want to go and watch it. It's kind of cringy, but if you're interested, it'll be there. Today I thought I would take you guys through my current lipstick collection because I've added a lot of new products. And I want to show you guys all the colors and all the brands that I have chosen to be in my lipstick collection. So once again, I'm going to talk you guys through each lipstick and show you guys swatches on my hand, swatches on my lips, and show you guys all the colors that I own. The first brand that we're going to talk about are MAC lipsticks. So the first color that I own is the one called All Fired Up and this is a retro matte. So this looks a lot more red in the tube than it actually is. It's kind of a dark neon pink if you can say it in that way. This is a really fun matte pink that I love to wear with all black outfits. I'm gonna show you guys a swatch now that you can see what the color actually looks like out of the tube. that I have here is the one called Ruby Woo. This is another matte color. This is probably the most famous MAC lipstick. It is of course just a matte classic red and this is absolutely beautiful. This is my favorite red lipstick to wear and this is just a classic that everyone knows. one called Cosmo and this is an amplified lipstick and this is a very creamy nude color and this is also one that I'm crazy about. I love wearing this because it feels very nice on the lips and it's just a really nice nude color. The next brand that we're going to talk about is NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This is a new addition to my lipstick collection. These were not included in the last one. And that's because I've recently, or recently, but within the last year probably, I've discovered this product and I absolutely love it. This is probably one of my favorite products out of my whole collection now. And that says a lot. One thing that I will say about this product is that it smells really nice. Just like the MAC lipsticks, I forgot to say, they smell really nice. And these all dry matte, which is really cool and I like to wear matte lipsticks. So let's talk about some colors. The one that stands out the most is my bright, fiery, red, orange uh, color. And this is so fun. I usually only wear this in the summer. This is the one called Morocco. The next color that I have is the one called Abu Dhabi and this is probably my favorite. This is a more brownish nude, it has less pink in it and it's perfect for a more modern twist on the new lip. New lip? I don't have any new lips. <laughs> it's a more modern twist on... It's a more modern twist on the nude lipstick trend and I really like this one. one is the newest addition to my collection. I actually just got this for Christmas. This is a lot more pink based than the Abu Dhabi. So this is kind of on the other side of the nude lipstick scale, which is cool to have a variety and nude lipsticks you can wear every day. This is the one called Zurich, which is also pretty appropriate because my boyfriend lives in Zurich. Anyway, let's see how it looks on. color that I own of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams is the one called Ken and this is another nude, surprise surprise, I probably have uh, along the lines of all the nude colors available, not yet but I'll get there soon. Ken is a really beautiful kind of darker nude and I really like this as well. I 
also let me just say that I apologize for my swatching skills. I know it's not perfect, this is the first time that I'm doing something like this. So bear with me and I mean, you can see the colors at least. That's all that matters. Now we're gonna move along to Rimmel lipsticks. I don't have a lot of these, but I have a few. Let's start off with the Kate Moss. Uh, Rimmel lipsticks. The first one is 111 Kiss of Life. Different shades of red can make a huge difference for your outfit, so it's nice to have a good variety of your classic red lipsticks. will come as no surprise to anyone because probably every girl in the world owns this lipstick. Of course it is the 107. This is a dark vampy kind of twist on the classic red and I understand why everyone in Zoella and now also me is wearing it a lot because it is absolutely fantastic and it's perfect for winter. in my Rimmel collection is my newest edition actually, my newest lipstick of all. This is one of the, the only one lipsticks. I actually got this as a recommendation from another Danish YouTuber called Nordic Beauty Secrets. She was talking about this lipstick in one of her videos. This is the one called 700 Naughty Nude and when she wore it I just thought Yes, that is the perfect nude, so I went and bought it myself. And I absolutely love it. This is one of my new favorite lipsticks out of everything that I have. This is one of my favorites. The final brand that we are going to talk about today is Revlon. So, Revlon lip butters. I have talked about this before, I've raved about this before. I freaking love these lipsticks and I still do. First of all, Pink Truffle, my absolute favorite. These lipsticks are very creamy and very easy to work with and that's exactly why I like them so much. I don't know about you, but I really like the packaging. I don't know, I think they're really cute. So let's see what Pink Truffle looks like. One called Peach Parfait and this is a very light shade of pink and I actually really don't like this one just because I don't know it seems like it's not frozen enough or it's not set enough if you understand what I mean it's really creamy to the point where it falls apart if you try to apply it called Juicy Papaya. It's a peachy, orangey hint of color and it's really refreshing for summer and I really like to wear this one during the summer. In the summertime I've made it pretty clear that I love to rock red or orangey lips. This is in addition to that this is Wild Watermelon. This is one of my oldest lipsticks and I freaking love it. The final lip butter that I own is the one called Macaroon and this is a dark nude once again. This is the most recent one that I've bought and I really like this one. From Revlon I own two of the Colorburst matte balm stains. This is more of a crayon style lipstick. I really like that actually. It's very easy to apply and the concept is really cool and I wish that I owned more colors of these. I'm gonna have to go on the hunt for a soul tree. That's actually the one that I really want. What I really like about these balm stains is that they smell of mint and it's really refreshing. The first color ooh, the first color is a really bright Pink. And this is also a color that I really like to rock in the summer or for New Year's with a black dress or something like that. I just love the bright pop of pink. I completely forgot to tell you what the name of this lipstick is. This is called Unapologetic. And the final lipstick 
in my lipstick collection is the final matte balm stain. This is not matte and this is called Brush Bag Win. This is great. All of the lipsticks in my lipstick collection 2017 so far don't forget to leave in the comments below which one was your absolute favorite and do you own any of the ones that i showed you today i would love to know that actually that would be kind of funny to know if you want to see more of my videos then don't forget to subscribe like this video if you enjoyed to watch it and hopefully i'll see you in my next video next week bye